This is the January 29th, 2018 Kubernetes SIG apps. And I'll start it off by sharing in the uh, meeting minutes here or in the chat a location to the agenda and minutes. Um, we are down at the 22nd or I'm sorry, the 29th, I had it wrong. Um, and uh, you'll notice in here real quick, uh, the first thing I'll say is in the demo slot, we don't have a demo. Our demo for today had to move. So if anybody had a, a demo they'd like to do at some point in here today, please feel free to put your name in there and go for it or to speak up. Um, otherwise, we just may not have one this week. Uh, you may also notice that there are a number of the normal folks who aren't here. I want to say Microsoft is having a face-to-face -face this week, and a number of folks are traveling or otherwise out. Um, I think Bitnami is having theirs right around now. There's a whole bunch of things going on. And so there are a bunch of the usual suspects who just are not here today um, due to travel and things like that. So... Uh, my name is Matt Farina, for anybody who doesn't know, and I'll jump in. Um, one of the first announcements is the Helm Summit is coming up. You can book your hotel. You can get tickets. Um, all of that stuff is there. The uh, speakers are announced. Uh, the one thing I'll say is there's the embedded thing for the speakers. If you go to the full thing, you can see there's a two-day schedule. Um, so it's not just the first day, but you can even get into the second day. But the link is in here for that. Um, so if you're interested in the Helm Summit, if you're interested in Helm, you can go see what's there and see if you want to go. It is being held in Portland in February. Uh, the next announcement that I've got is, I don't know how widely this has been communicated. We've been talking about it in SIG architecture for a while, um, and it's slowly gaining momentum and moving there, but I don't think it's gotten everywhere yet. And so I um, just want to say it here so everybody gets a chance to hear it and maybe ask questions about it as well, is core is kind of shifting from lots of features in core. Um, and trying to cram everything in there and doing the development of those features there to now adding extension points so that people can build on top of core and separate. And so the idea is a slower moving stable core where a lot of development happens in the ecosystem. And some of those ecosystem things could even be merged into core. And so like one of the things that came up in SIG architecture uh, this week was to talk about uh, time zones on cron jobs. And we can talk about that again in a minute, but that was said, can we solve that in the ecosystem? And then if it works for all the different cases we have from the smallest cases to the largest, maybe there's a way we can bring it into core rather than trying to solve it there um, because there's a lot of complexities to that, you know, and, and where before we might have tried to do that there. Now it's saying, well, that's an ecosystem thing. And so you'll see the prioritization of feature development being more around CRDs, API servers, and essentially extension points. Um, if you're not following, there's been things like moving the cloud provider code out of core so that every cloud provider's code doesn't sit as part of the core uh, repo and setup, but make an extension point in core and then have that code elsewhere. And that shift is now kind of well underway, but I don't know how often it's talked about. And so I just wanted to make a point to bring it up here because it's come up in several of the past SIG architecture meetings as making decisions to say push it out has been now happening rather than just how do we get there, but actually saying this should happen out there. Uh, are there any questions about that? Is the best place to get more information on that diving into the, like the meeting notes for SIG architecture or do you have any references? Uh, at this moment, probably look at the meeting moments, maybe look at last week's SIG architecture if the video is up yet because we talked about a couple of cases in there and even we had a little discussion about how we haven't been great at communicating it um, and, and some of what that means. And so uh, that might be a good place to get started. It's just the meeting minutes from the last one or, or watch the meeting. Cool, thank you. Yeah. All right, so that's what I had for the announcements. Um, I guess that we can jump into the updates. Uh, we might have a quick meeting or maybe we'll have a long open discussion. Um, and so for the first two, we have kind of the Kubernetes core, which is sets and jobs at the moment. Um, I guess I'll just jump in real quick before somebody else does. The cron job, uh, one that we talked about last week in here with time zones. Um, that one of, has been asked to be pushed into the ecosystem and the issue on it has been updated to reflect that um, as of the end of last week. Um, so that's the status on that particular one. I don't know if anybody else had any other statuses. Um, Ken, are you trying to say something? It kind of cut out on me here. Going to be. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so we're trying to get a few things done inside of the core controllers. We want to get the EDE tests and 
the core controllers themselves onto the V1 API, and we want to get conformance tests done um, this quarter. Basically, for the next release, we'd like to have conformance run there. So one of the things I'm doing now is trying to investigate the process, if there is one, for adding conformance tests. It seems like there's an owner's file, which primarily is the top-level owners of the Kubernetes repo. So I'm going to confer with them and make sure that we have broad agreement on what the set of conformance tests for staple set, replica set, deployment, and um, daemon set should look like. I think we generally do from prior discussions and move forward with that. That's all. No, that sounds great. For the conformance tests, I want to say that SIG architecture owns the what should be tested and SIG testing owns the how do you test it parts of it. So really, we've already put some effort into adding integration tests and removing things that should really be at an integration and medium level down to there so that our EDE becomes more of a black box and not only gives us stronger test signals, but is in alignment with what is generally agreed upon that conformance test should be. So in theory, our, our E to E at the end state should be our conformance. Fantastic. All right, well, we'll move on. We don't have a demo right now, so we can move on to the other tooling projects. Um, there are four of them listed right now that I just grabbed from last time. If somebody here has another project they wanna to add to this list that they wanna talk about here, please go ahead and feel free to add it. Um, did we have anybody here from the Helm? Anybody here who wanted to talk Helm? All right, I'll talk. Uh, we, I'm doing a little too much talking this week. So if somebody else wants to jump in and talk about these, please feel free. I don't need to talk the whole time. Uh, for Helm, release 2.8 has now gone out. Um, it went out last Monday. It turns out that there is a bug though. So if you use it and you're experiencing issues, make sure you test with it first. We didn't get enough use of the release candidates, which is something we've talked about how to increase a release candidate usage and a bug was found out. It actually has to do with doing patch merges with code from client go down to API machinery and we're trying to trace through that. But it seems that there's some upgrade test problems that could come. Some people are experiencing it others aren't, and we're still working through trying to solve that. So expect a, a dot one release to come out here soon, as soon as we can figure out that and get it fixed. Um, I think that's the big news on the Helm front, uh, just the release and the bug. Anybody here wanna talk charts? Okay, I guess I can give this stand up on that one too. Um, so with charts, one of the things that's been going on in the charts repository is we've been working to document processes. How do you deprecate charts? How do you um, promote charts from incubator to stable? Incubator and stable used to mean it just used stable APIs or it used like alpha APIs, particularly workloads and things like that. But now that um, the workloads API has graduated to be V1 and most of those are stable non alpha APIs we're using now that are on all the time. Then incubators kind of become more of the test bed to create and work out new charts and then stables become the ones that are more stable is the direction it's going. Um, but we've been documenting how do you promote things, how do you do this? So now we're working on uh, lots of process documentation along with review documentation because we've added owner's files. So if anybody wants an owner's file um, for their chart, um, come see me and I'll help you get set up with that. We're trying to work those in. And so we also wanna have consistent documentation so people know the processes that are going on. Uh, so they know how to promote things, what to go through, how to review stuff. And so right now there's a lot of that going on along with incremental, um, improvements to continuous integration testing to kind of give better feedback or better failure messages when something does go wrong in the test so you can try and figure that out and that's been a fair amount of the, the charts work the other thing that we're doing on charts which might be interesting we're going to add office hours in on um the charts chat meeting is every other Tuesday. And so last Tuesday, uh, the maintainers and whoever else wanted to join met to just hash through things. It meets every other week. And we're going to try something new called office hours. Um, and if you've got a chart or a PR on the charts a repository, you want to talk to somebody about like, we've been bad at getting back to the pull request reviews or something like that. And you want to corner us or you want to talk through how do you do something? 
we are going to have a meeting for that. I'll paste the link in here in just a minute, um, but we're gonna have that on the off Tuesdays from our normal meeting to give people an opportunity to do that. And if nobody comes face to face, we're gonna start having time to work through those pull requests to try to get better at curating those, um, especially some of the harder ones. And so that's what's going on with charts. Any questions about charts or Helm? All right, do we have anybody here to talk monocular? Adnan's traveling today, so he's not here. I don't know if anybody else is. Um, how about Chart Museum? We got a slim week for the stand-ups. I don't see Josh on either. Uh, Josh will be, uh, by the way, Josh will be talking about Chart Museum at the Helm Summit. And um, we'll be talking a fair amount about some of these other projects there as well. Did anybody have any other projects they wanted to give a stand-up or talk about or any of those things? Now we're in time to do that or just open discussion. And since we breeze through this in 13 minutes, um, or actually probably 10 minutes because we started late, uh, does anybody have anything they want to talk about? Open floor. So I have a couple questions, uh, Steve Spiker with uh, Red Hat. Um, so one thing regarding the, um, just looking at the, the wiki page and the roadmap published there, uh, it looks like it hasn't been updated since August. I mean, I can go in there and, and tinker with it and update a little bit. I'm sorry, for which project? For which project? I'm sorry, I'm looking at the Helm roadmap. Ah, ah yes. Uh, and I think this is just managed under the releases. Uh, yeah, that's where it is. So that's that's good to see. There's a there's a link at the top. Um, the other is I noticed that under the issues, there's uh, a number of them that are labeled kind of proposal, and some have like Helm three in them. Um, so my question really is, uh, where where's the best way to see where people are like requesting sort of proposals for what Helm three might be? Is that the best way to put a proposal as an issue? Uh, is it, you know, what's, what's the recommended way to do that? So I, I would recommend writing it up as a proposal and putting it in as an issue. Um, we'll okay. be specifically talking about those at the Helm Summit. We've teetered around some of these, such as the use of CRDs and API servers and changing things up the way Tiller works in Helm 3. Um, but a lot of that discussion is more about trying to maybe curate some of those ideas and issues right now and then talk about them at the Helm Summit. Uh, there's actually going to be a series of lightning talks there that are going to talk about possible ideas. And it's just a subset of the ideas to put ideas into people's minds and get them thinking about it. And then there's going to be a whole time set aside in the schedule to just discuss what to do with Helm and Helm 3. Um, but issues are a great place to file those things. And you'll see that I think it's uh, they end up getting tagged or put into the milestone of, what's it called, upcoming major. Okay. And there's currently 28 of them in there. And that's, that's Helm 3. Upcoming major is Helm 3. Okay, great. Thank and you. so they can, yeah, and that's where we can talk about them, look at them, things like that. If you want to come discuss those with folks, uh, please come, first of all, consider coming to the Helm Summit. Um, I'll be there. You, okay, great. And if you can't make those for other folks, um, the Helm folks have a meeting every Thursday. Uh, mm -hmm. This week up might be light. I have no idea what it's going to be like with the Microsoft folks and the Bitnami folks and some of the people who are traveling. But normally every Thursday, there's a meeting. If you go to the Kubernetes community repo and you go to SIG apps in there, uh, you'll actually see we have the charts meeting and the uh, Helm meetings listed with the links and all of that. But that's Thursday. Oh, what is it like 10 a.m. Pacific? I could be wrong in that. It's the hour before the community meeting or half an hour before the community meeting. I think the usual time I can't make it. Yep. So. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's another place where those kinds of things can be discussed. Yeah. It was, it was just going to lead into like uh, being prepared to show up the, the home summit, I guess, with some of these B3 topics. So either knowing what people may be talking about or what we should be prepared, like either the, the present or have ready ahead of time or just kind of show up and we'll figure it out when we're there. Yeah. And I know some folks have topics that they're, they're thinking about ahead of time, such as, um, I, I would say CRDs and API controllers are a couple of them. Um, there's talk of, you know, moving from gRPC to JSON. I, you know, I don't know where a lot of this is going to go, but there are a lot of ideas out there for what people would like to do. A lot of it's additive or breaking changes to try to fix things that are problematic. Um, so, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. 
It's an open floor. Does anybody have anything else? Going once, going twice, going three times. I guess this is going to be an incredibly short meeting this week. Um, well, we'll try and have uh, more prepared for you. If there's anything that you want to get on the agenda for a demo or a topic to discuss in the future that you weren't prepared for today, please uh, reach out to me or Ken, uh, who's here today, or stick it you know, into the meeting minutes and bring it up. All right, folks, I'll stop recording and have a wonderful week.